You know, bro, you know what I can't believe? That Ford hasn't brought out another Lightning. Alright guys, welcome back to Race Spec and today we're going to go fix our exhaust leak that I showed you guys in the last episode when we installed the headers. Um, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but the gasket that comes in the ARH headers is for the stock exhaust, for the exhaust a bit bigger, so we either find a gasket for it or we cut and weld, do a V-band. So uh, let's get this truck started. Um, sounds pretty dope besides the exhaust leak, but let's hear it. Do a V band and then we're gonna go from there. Problem is, our battery's about to die because it didn't charge for whatever reason. So there's a little Z action, and I guess that's it for the video. A little welding? Yeah. But they sit in place. So you weld, weld, sits in place, and then this goes around yeah, it. So when the pipe's lined up and it locks in place, like in here, that's. See that's badass, dude. Hell yeah, let's do that shit. And this. Goes right in there and then boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need to do on my intercooler for my other car, dude. Yeah, it makes it only on like one bolt and then if it's one way to fit in, it'll, it'll only lock in and sit flat yeah. when it's in that spot. So there it is, the V-band. So we're gonna start up the truck right now, make sure there's no leaks anywhere else before we get it off the lift. And we'll go say what's up to Benny so he can hear it without a leak. He's really excited about that. Here's that the exhaust leak is fixed. We were just down there just checking it out, making sure everything's good. Uh, pretty glad about that. We're gonna go visit Benny right now so he can hear it. When we get down there, we'll rev it. Uh, so you guys, so you guys and Benny can hear it at the same time. And myself, just I just wanna like be that guy over here. Over there it seems to be chill though, so we'll see what's up. Dude, I hit my knee, fuck. <laughs> gotta, gotta help Benny push the Bronco. Yeah, you guys got like two feet. You're good. You're good. A little more. That's good right there. Cobra. Dude, it's a lot hotter today than it was freaking on Wednesday, huh? Yeah. Nice. We just finished a. Uh, uh, we just finished a, a fucking uh, Hellcat, his Camaro for a shootout. Oh, you yours the red one? <coughs> With yeah. the beadlocks? It's just dope. Oh, yeah. well, you saw it? It was still out there? No, no, no. I, no, I saw it I saw it by your house, bro. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was this one's shit. What'd you do to the hell? Was it the yellow Hellcat? The yellow Hellcat, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's red. They're, they're, they're both going to a shootout uh, this weekend. Uh, you going to so beat him or what? Really? It's not fucking Have you tried doing trash control off? Yeah. And then uh, it still comes up? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you want to ride? Yeah, we'll ride. Show you this. What's up, Hollywood? It's quieter. What's going on? That's way quieter, dude. Freaking. 
<laughs> I'm going to it a little bit right You want to film it from the outside? Oh yeah. Can I rev it? It's already filming. It's fucking pointed. You could, you could probably turn that off in the tune. Well, when I tune when it. You tune it, yeah. Yeah, I forget my check engine light came on yesterday, but for my headlights. According really? to my Ford app. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can connect it and see what it says. Yeah. Well, what year is this? 2020? 2020. Fuck, I actually don't have the OEM software for it, but. Um, oh, the four scanner or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a generic scanner, though, for it. I can use it. Yeah, dude, four scanner. How much do they, they take care of you for? 130 or whatever. All right. They're cool dudes over there, man. They're dope. The, yeah. One of the guys does like a drift school thing for Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm yeah, gonna do Rocky. it. Yeah, dude. I'll do it. Al pinche Benny con su Mercedes Privas. Ahorita vamos a ver que el compa Rudy maneje la camioneta a ver qué piensa. So vamos a ir a agarrar gasolina primeramente, luego nos vamos. So we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let the boy Rudy drive the Super Snake. See how it sounds, man. Honestly, pretty quiet, and I'm and I, I'm actually pretty thankful it's that quiet. Put the GPS coordinates in for the E85 station already. You already uh, got the uh, clamps right for the headers. Is yes. That fixed already. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it's fixed done. it already. It's pretty dope. It's um, what do they call it again? V band. Yeah, the V bands. Pretty sick, dude. It didn't um, make a difference. Does it still sound muffled or not much? Oh hell yeah! But I like that. All right, guys. So we're gonna head to the E85 station right now. Get some fuel. We're rolling on fumes. Thirty miles till empty. Um. Oh, dude, is it not true? Uh, fun fact, uh, the only time I had 91 on this truck was with the gas tank they gave it to me with. Ever since then, it's all E85. Uh, for those, that you, those of you that don't know, a lot of these F-150s are flex fuel from the factory. Do you gain power off of it? I'm not sure. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not taking any chances. Um, but, yeah, if you have a stock F-150, get it tuned. Get, like, 40 wheel. But we're going supercharged, so... We're not even going to mess with that, but we'll see you guys at the gas station and see how our boy likes the truck. Yeah, I'm going to put the Raptor steering wheel on it so we get some pedals. Sounds nice, man. Yeah, it's, it sounds pretty similar to how it did stock, just a little, uh, a little raspier. Yeah, a little bit louder. It yeah. was too quiet for me when, when I first uh, heard it. I, I always like the cars a little bit louder. Is it a little louder already? Yeah, it sounds good, bro. Yeah, well, we'll floor it when we get the chance. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to floor it right now because we don't have gas. Well, I mean, it's three miles away. We got 30, oh, 30 it's only three miles. miles. Yeah. If you want to do manual mode? You want to like? You want to like go down? Yeah. Then you mess with those stupid little buttons. It's really shitty, but we shall fix that with a ratchet steering wheel. It's not terribly loud. Sounds good though. Yeah. Which is what's weird though is it doesn't really sound like a 5.0. Yeah, it doesn't, bro. You know? It doesn't sound like a coyote. It sounds like a like, like a regular truck. I wonder if that's because of the the borlas. I feel like those uh, borlas are really restrictive. Yeah, dude. I feel because it goes to a Y pipe. Yeah. And then uh, are we gonna turn left at this light? Uh, turns into a Y pipe and then into that like super like weird design restrictive muffler yeah i've seen that so i think if i do like a custom like x pipe with like cool mufflers and dump it out somewhere it'll sound sick i think it'll sound sick but i actually kind of like it low key yeah you you'll get a lot of attention bro if it's louder but it, it would be sick if these came with uh with the um the different exhaust modes where you can have it in quiet mode sport mode and the exhaust changes based off of those modes you know, uh, the Rouse trucks have something similar. They have a little knob. Uh, that it's kind of like a cutout in a way, but it, it makes you have a mode. Yeah. Um, but Shelby didn't do anything like that. It would have been nice if they did. It would have helped a lot. That way you can run an aftermarket exhaust, and then if you want to be quiet, just put it in the quiet mode and then put it in sport or track so you can get the exhaust louder. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's not like it'd be nice if it was like a factory Shelby truck, like from Ford. Yeah. And then it would have that, yeah. you know? But then it'd also probably be like an extra 30K maybe. Maybe, right? You know? <laughs> I mean, it's like Shelby American, so whatever. See so you guys at the gas station. Actually, we might send it here. 
I'm gonna send it. Oh, train tracks, train tracks. Dramatic fake bouncing. <laughs> Sounds good, bro. Yeah, dude. I put the camera up and down because I was pretending we were in the Silverado. This one doesn't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, I had to throw some shades on because our boy Rudy was looking a little too fresh over there. <laughs> I forgot, man. I, I was slipping this whole time. Sorry, guys. But we brought the ice back. Uh, Rudy actually was, what is that, like a muffler? That's oh, a gas tank. Uh, Rudy wants us to edit out the. The rev limiter part. But. Yeah, edit that shit out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I do edit it out, it'd be kind of awkward because you guys are going to be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but you, those of you that don't know, he has, if you're still watching, he has a 2020 GT500 that's coming in. Um, and you might be wondering why I'm asking if you're still watching. That's why, because per my analytics, you guys watch about four or five minutes, then you ease out. But it's been going up, so maybe that's a good sign. <laughs> Is that snow? Some fake snow, bro. It's like we're in Big Bear now. I don't really realize it. For those of you that don't know, fuck. For those of you guys that don't know, this truck runs on unicorn juice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, the boy Rudy's helping us. There we go. Dude, that was such a fail. Oh, God. 250 burns faster though. Yeah, burns faster, man. Check out that bug. We're we gonna go eat, bro. No, man, we'll figure it out. Damn, dude. You feeling anything? Ah, I'm feeling food, man. I'm hungry. Oh, 14 gallons so far, 37 bucks. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bet she's gonna be around 50 bucks. 50? Yeah, or 55, which is about the same that's that it cost to fill up the F. But 91 versus the 85. Yeah, this burns faster, and in the end, you're really spending more money. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Not Actually, much, not really. But... It's about the same. Because I average like 12, 13 MPG on this, and the F I average 15. So I'm actually doing a little better on the truck, I think. Are you? Yeah. I don't want to drive it every day, though. $3 short. So, how much does it cost to fill up a Super Snake? Because we were dead on E. About $53 on a E85, 21 gallons. Okay, you think most people can afford that? Yeah, man, it's not much. Not nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls, bro. It's fast, bro. It pulls really good. It launches really hard. Fuck, dude. And I can only imagine the tuned ones that are shifting at seven instead of six thousand. Yeah, it's gonna make a big difference, bro. With fast shift points and everything. I mean, it's we're gonna all... shift more aggressive. I know, man. It almost makes you want to tune it, but like, there's no point in it. It's gonna be supercharged right yeah. when I get it back from the dealer. I'll, uh, I'll let all the other 5.0 content creators do that. Come on, guys. Do that shit. 